video I'm going to demonstrate mixtape. Mixtape is the second way we can use the bridge. In order for this to work properly, you will need one of the RAIN mixer, the TTM57 or the TTM68 like the one I've got here. These mixers are fully integrated with Serato. You don't need an external box, that's your mixer, but at the same time it's your Serato interface. So with this four channel mixer, it has fully integrated effects, fully integrated cue points, you can set the loop points in real time. And with this mixtape technology now, everything you do during your mix, every EQ you move, every fader you move, the crossfader, the volume faders, everything is recorded right into Ableton Live. So get your hands on one of these mixers and try the mixtape. Let's demonstrate it now. So let's start Serato to begin with. I'm just going to perform a normal recording into Serato. Ableton Live doesn't need to be started yet. So firstly, click on the record switch on the left hand side there. Then reach for the input source chooser and go for the .als file. That's an Ableton Live set file. So before you start recording you could load the first track onto the right hand side deck for example. That's it, queue it up properly, make sure that the speed is right and once you're okay with this you can now press the record switch into Serato. Load a second track onto the left hand side deck this time and start queuing them up. So I'm just performing a normal Serato set here using the EQs, using my crossfader, using my volume faders. If I want I could use the effects on the TTM68 and everything is being recorded as a live set. So I'm not going to carry on for ages like so I'm going to stop this mix now and show you what's happening in the ALS file. So I'm now going to stop the recording pressing the record button here, the record switch. I'm now going to name the file and most importantly save it. Use the disk icon switch on the right hand side here to save it properly. I can close Serato now. Exit Serato there and navigate to your user music folder. In there you will find your Serato folder. Reach for the recording folder and finally here is your project. My one is called Mixtape 1. Double click onto the ALS file to open Ableton Live. So you can see there Ableton opening the ALS file and there it is, the arrangement view with all your mixed tapes. So each track you see their waveforms are building and Ableton is analyzing their waveform. They all bear their name exactly the way they were in Serato. Down at the bottom in the mixed track you'll see the output of Serato, that's the actual mix, how you played it. And now if you go on the tracks themselves here, you can see the automation lines. So everything you did was now recorded as an automation. You see line two here. So if I open it up a bit wider, there it is, my track volume automation. All the movements from the TTM68 mixer recorded as volume automations. You can now play that back exactly in the same way you played it. hear everything. The cool thing is that you can now retouch the waveform exactly in the same manner you would in Ableton Live. You see you can select and disassociate the waveform, you can repeat part of it, you can move the whole thing if your mix wasn't at the right place. 
Now it's a great tool, you can collapse all the tracks obviously. And down at the bottom here, you will find in your master track, you will find your crossfader automation. Let's look for it, let's browse it. Zoom out a bit. There it is. That's the crossfader automation. Anything you did on your mixer is recorded. This is the first time in Ableton Live we see crossfader automation. I can edit it via the pen icon or I can also use my mouse icon to, to get different style automation. Um, you, you can do the perfect cuts basically using this tool. So if you're a scratch DJ, obviously any, any scratch that wasn't in time can be retouched perfectly here. So let's place the loop brace around the mix. Let's solo the mix track here so I can listen to the whole mix. That's the output mix from the Serato mixer. So once you've retouched the whole of your mix, you've edited it to perfection, go to the export menu in your file menu and export this file just in the same manner you would export a DJ demo. So here is the second way you can use the bridge. This is called Mixtape. It's an amazing technology again. And uh, you can edit your mix to perfection with this.